Hello, everyone. I'm Miss Heidi, and thank you for joining us for Children's Liturgy of the Word today. If your family enjoys Children's Liturgy, please help us continue this ministry by becoming a patron. Visit patreon.com slash kidsliturgy to learn more. God bless you and your family. Go now and listen to God's Word. Go now and listen to God's Word. God's Word of love, God's Word of truth. God's Word of love, God's Word of truth. God's words of eternal life. God's Word. Hello, boys and girls. I'm so glad you're here with me this morning for Children's Liturgy of the Word. Today is the 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time. In our gospel, Jesus reminds us to be good citizens and members of our communities. Let's learn some signs in American Sign Language for our gathering song. The first sign we're going to learn is the word mind. Make a hook with your pointer finger, then tap it on the side of your head two times. Good job. Let's try it again. Make a hook, then tap twice. Great job. Next, let's learn how to sign the word imagine. Make a fist with your hand and then stick out your pinky finger like this. Touch your pinky to your head and then lift up. Nice work. Let's do it once more. Make a fist, pinky finger to your head, and then lift up. Well done. Lastly, let's remember how to sign the word God. Take your right hand and put it at an angle, and then point up. Good job. We will use these signs in our gathering song, which is called, God is so big. Sing along with me. God is so big, and our minds are so small. It's hard to imagine our God at all. God is so big and our minds are so small. It's hard to imagine our God at all. He always was, He will forever be. Our God is all powerful yet close to me. God is so big and our minds are so small. It's hard to imagine our God at all. He made the world and through it shares His plan. The source of all life and love our God made man. God is so big and our minds are so small. It's hard to imagine our God at all. God knows all things and wants you to know Him. So make time in each day to grow close to Him. God is so big and our minds are so small. It's hard to imagine our God at all. God is so big and our minds are so small. It's hard to imagine our God at all. It's hard to imagine our God at all. Thank you for singing along with me. Let's look at our coloring page for this week. What do you see? Yes, there's some coins. What does it say on this coin? It says, be a good citizen. Do you know what a citizen is? A citizen is somebody who belongs to a country. Today, Jesus will use a coin like this to show his enemies that they are wrong. Let's light a candle to show that we're ready to listen to God's word. In today's first reading, God talks to a king of Persia named Cyrus. Let's hear what God has to say. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord said to Cyrus, his chosen one, I have taken hold of your right hand to help you conquer nations and remove kings from power. City gates will open for you. Not one will stay closed. Cyrus you don't even know me, but I have called you by name and highly honored you because of Jacob, my servant, and Israel, my chosen one. 
only I am the Lord. There is no other God. I have made you strong, though you don't know me. Now everyone from east to west will know that I am the Lord. No other gods are real. The Word of the Lord. And we say together, Thanks be to God. Your turn. Thanks be to God. Good job. So we just heard God speaking to Cyrus, who was a king long ago. God tells Cyrus that he's going to help him free the people of Israel, his chosen people, from the rulers of Babylon and allow them to return to their home. Even though Cyrus had never known about God before, God explains that He is the one true God. Have you ever heard of the Ten Commandments? Well, the first commandment or rule says that we should all worship and love God because He is the only God. Today's first reading reminds us that God is the one true God who loves us and cares about us. Now it's time for the responsorial psalm, which is a song that we'll sing together. Our words today are, Give the Lord glory and honor. Sing this with me the second time when I raise my hand. Give the Lord glory and honor. Give the Lord glory and honor. Sing a new song to the Lord, everyone on this earth. Sing praises to the Lord. Tell every nation on earth. The Lord is wonderful and does marvelous things. Give the Lord glory and honor. The Lord is great and deserves our greatest praise. He is the only God worthy of our worship. Other nations worship idols. But the Lord created the heavens. Give the Lord glory and honor. Everyone on earth now tremble and worship the Lord majestic and holy. Announce to the nations the Lord is King. God will judge the people with fairness. Give the Lord glory and honor. Hmm, what does it mean to give God glory and honor? Do you think it means to love and praise God? Or do you think it means to stop talking about God? Good job. It means to love and praise God. What are some ways we can love and praise God? Go ahead and tell me one way. Good idea. Here are some other ways to praise God. We can sing about God, pray throughout the day, tell our friends and family about God's love, tell stories about Jesus to our brothers and sisters, and go to church for Mass. There are so many ways to praise and show love to God. Now it's time to stand up and get ready for the Gospel. Sing Alleluia with me when I raise my hand.
in today's gospel, some of Jesus' enemies try to trick him into saying that people don't have to obey the law about paying taxes. Listen closely to hear what Jesus tells them. The Lord be with you, and we say together, and with your spirit, your turn, and with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, and we say together, glory to you, O Lord. Make a little cross on your forehead, on your lips, and on your heart. The Pharisees got together and planned how they could trick Jesus into saying something wrong. They sent some of their followers to say to him, Teacher, we know that you are honest. You teach the truth about what God wants people to do, and you treat everyone with the same respect, no matter who they are. Tell us what you think. Should we pay taxes to the emperor or not? Jesus knew their evil thoughts and said, Why are you trying to test me, you show-offs? Let me see one of the coins used for paying taxes. They brought him a silver coin, and he asked, Whose picture and name are on it? The Emperor Caesar's, they answered. Then Jesus told them, Give the Emperor Caesar what belongs to him, and give God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. And we say together, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Your turn. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well done. You may go ahead and sit down now, boys and girls. In today's Gospel, we heard about Jesus and a group of people named the Pharisees. Do you know who the Pharisees were? Well, the Pharisees were a group of people in Jesus' time who were very strict, and they thought that believing in God meant only obeying the rules. Sometimes they forgot that love is the greatest rule Jesus gave us. Do you think the Pharisees were followers of Jesus? No, they did not want to listen to what Jesus had to say. In fact, they were his enemies. In our reading, the Pharisees wanted to trick Jesus into saying something that would get him in trouble. They asked him if people should pay taxes or give money to the government. Now, if Jesus said that people shouldn't pay taxes, he would have been put in jail by one of the leaders. And if he said that people should pay taxes, then the people would think that Jesus wasn't being loyal or didn't care about God's chosen people. So Jesus took a coin, pointed to the ruler on it, and said that it belonged to the emperor at that time, whose name was Caesar. He said, give this coin to the emperor Caesar because it belongs to him, and give to God what belongs to God. What exactly does Jesus mean by this? Well, Jesus is saying that the Emperor Caesar deserved respect. Jesus wants us to follow laws that are fair and just, and he wants us to work hard to be good citizens. Do you know why? Well, because when we are good citizens or good members of our communities, we respect one another and show love for our neighbors. And Jesus told us to love our neighbors the way we love ourselves, right? Being good citizens can be hard work because it means taking care of all people in our communities, especially those in need. Today, Jesus also reminds us to put God first in our lives. He said that we should give God what belongs to Him. And do we belong to God? Yes, we do. We are His people. So let's remember to give our lives to God each day. Let's say, God, I will put you first in my life. Your turn. God, I will put you first in my life. Nicely done. 
Today, we're going to sing a song to help us profess our faith. Your part will be, Yes, Lord, I believe. Can you say that? Yes, Lord, I believe. Good job. Sing along with me. Do you believe in God the Father? Yes, Lord, I believe. Who made the earth and all we see? Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, Lord, I believe. Conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit? Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe, I do believe. Do you believe that Jesus died? Yes, Lord, I believe. He died for us so we could live. Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe He rose again? Yes, Lord, I believe. He's seated now at God's right hand. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe. I do believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? Yes, Lord, I believe. The Catholic Church and communion of saints? Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in God's forgiveness? Yes, Lord, I believe. That we will rise to life again? Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe, I do believe. This is our faith which we profess. Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father. I believe in God the Son. I believe in the Holy Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary is the mother of God's Son. I believe. I do believe. Now it's time for the prayer of the faithful, where we bring our prayers to God. Today, for our prayers of petition, let us pray for people who have authority over us. After each petition, please sing, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, guide the leaders of our church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, guide all leaders of our communities and of our country. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, guide us to serve others as good citizens and members of our communities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the grace to see every human as a child of God, regardless of skin color, language, or culture. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Now it is our turn to bring our prayers to God, either out loud or in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, Jesus taught us through word and example that good Christians are also good citizens. 
and members of our communities. Guided by the Holy Spirit, teach us to live with others in harmony. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Can you say that? Amen. Good job. This ends today's Children's Liturgy, boys and girls. But don't worry, there's still more you can do at home. Use the link below to download the Good Citizen Coin coloring page. I really enjoyed seeing your coloring pages from last week, and we'll show them at the end of our video today. If your parents would like to share your weekly coloring pages or faith-based drawings, have them take a picture of your drawing and email it to kidsliturgy2020 at gmail.com and we'll try to feature them in next week's video. This fall, I'm partnering with Flom Publishing Group to provide short gospel reflection videos for their Children Celebrate and Gospel Weeklies programs. Each five-minute video will have an explanation of the gospel, a story about a saint, and a closing prayer. To order the Fall Children Celebrate program, Flom Gospel Weekly's Faith Formation Program, or the 2020 to 2021 Sunday Missal for Young Catholics, visit BayardFaithResources.com. If your parish or school already uses Children Celebrate or Flom Gospel Weeklies, contact your parish to request that they share the videos with you. If you love the music we use during Children's Liturgy, visit BayardFaithResources.com to purchase CDs by Catholic composer John Berland or go to giamusic.com for mp3 downloads. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for listening to God's Word with me today. We hope you'll join us next week, too. Stay well, God bless you, and remember that Jesus loves you. The King called His servants to hear the good news. My son is getting married, go out to buy two. Invite all my friends to share in my joy. We have found a bride for my precious boy. The servants did what their king had said, but returned so sad for no one said yes. The guests were too busy to come to the feast. What to do now? There will be empty seats. King called his servants to hear the good news. My son is getting married, go out to buy two. Invite all my friends to share in my joy. We have found a bride for my precious boy. The king said, ask the others to try once again. There are many who would be so glad to attend. Soon every seat at the table was filled. Guests eating and dancing, no one was still. The king called his servants to hear the good news. My son is getting married, go out two by two. Invite all my friends to share in my joy. We have found a bride for my precious boy. You were invited by God, our great king. To come to his table to share in his feast The food we receive is Jesus, his son Given to us a sign of God's great love The king called his servants to hear the good news My son is getting married, go out two by two Invite all my friends to share in my joy We have found a bride for my precious boy Called his servants to hear the good news. My son is getting married, go out to buy two.
welcome here, you're welcome here. Come gather at the table of the Lord. Come share this meal, come share this meal. Together at the table of the Lord. We bring our gifts of bread and wine for everyone to share. Remembering what Jesus said when they gathered long ago. You're welcome here, you're welcome here. Come gather at the table of the Lord. Come share this meal, come share this meal. Together at the table of the Lord. Jesus is always here with us, around our table too. He feeds us all and keeps us strong in this gift of love we share. You're welcome here, you're welcome here. Come gather at the table of the Lord. Come share this meal, come share this meal. Together at the table of the Lord. You're welcome here, you're welcome here. Come gather at the table of the Lord. Come share this meal, come share this meal. Together at the table of the Lord. Together at the table of the 